and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you're all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5. And just take a look at this car right here. This is not going to be the star of the show. I really don't want it to be because this video is going to be about something else. But just take a look at this car. This car is absolutely amazing. This is my fine tweaked version of the Warrener and the Sultan RS combo that one of you suggested. I think it was Chris Ridgeway. I think that was your name that you suggested in the previous video and I am loving this and this is a preview by the way of the upcoming uh, it's not really a mod the upcoming pack that I'll be releasing that has all these custom cars and stuff on the menus mod that I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy but today what I want to do is I want to look at another yacht mod now we've already looked at a mod before which added yachts and single player but it didn't really have that much in the way of customization now, I've never used this map, uh, I've never used this yacht thing online because I don't really play online. So I don't know how well this compares to online yacht building and stuff like that. But I guess we're going to find out in today's video. I'm sure you can let me know in the comment section below. So, first of all, to start off with, we need to go to our yacht, which is right here. So I'm going to mark it down on the map. And I guess we were going the wrong way. Oh, God, now damage my car. No, I love this car. The only problem is if I click fix, it will actually return doors and stuff that I've taken off of the Sultan RS in order to get this to fit properly. Uh, so we have to sort of just cope with all the marks and stuff. Right, so as we just come up to this yacht thing here, there's going to be some comments and questions and stuff on the screen. If you would like your comments and questions featured, you can leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter at figure8. Links for that are in the description. Let's just part this up right here. Let's, let's just look at that. Let's just look at that beautiful beautiful looking car i am absolutely in love with that thing it's my favorite car in this game right now but never mind all that let's actually customize our yacht today so let's just go over here and go into this buy yacht okay i am using the uh the xbox one controller for this one and it's not gonna let me do that so i guess we're gonna have to press e there we go okay well the controller doesn't work okay and now look at the amount of options we now have in the previous one, it had like a few different uh, boat designs and then you could change like a couple of the colors, like the railings and the lights, but that was pretty much it. This one has got so many different things we could do. So let's just see through the models here. So we've got the uh, Orion, which I think is this one. Then we have the Pisces and then we have Aquarius. Now I think, I think if I was to own a yacht like this, let's just look through these ones. I think it would probably have to be, I quite like Aquarius. I quite like how it looks. But I really like the way Pisces looks. That second one. But I do like this one as well. I think I'm going to go... Is that... What is that at the front there? Is that a helipad or is that... I think that's... Okay, let's go with the Pisces. I think that's going to be a good one. Or we can change the camera as well to give a proper look at it. Oh, look at that. Nice. There are so many new things that we could do with this. Yeah, I think Pisces is the good one. So I'm going to go for that then. Although that has... Has that changed? No, that's right. That's right. So now we can go on to fittings. So in here we have Chrome... And gold, I think this is going to be the railings. These are the things that we could have changed before. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go for gold as I think that's I think that's color, I think that's a color that's going to go with the color that I have in my head, at least. So now we have lighting, where we have a huge amount. Presidential green, blue, rose, and gold. And vivacious green, blue, rose, and gold. So we have, what's this? What are we changing here? Are we going to have to set this into nighttime? Can we do this? I guess that's, that's sort of going to work. Hang on. We're just going to have to, uh, just, do, 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 do. there we go. Now it's night. Oh, hello. Look at this lot. Let's just get rid of this then. Okay, lighting. So we have, what's presidential blue and vivacious blue? What's the difference there? Oh, I see. So that one's just got like dots and stuff on the side. Like, oh, I see. It's just sort of like a nice glow. Whereas the vivacious ones are really sort of, yeah, sort of, that is vice. That is pure Miami right there. That is a pure Miami thing. I'm going to go for gold, as that's going to match my gold railings, as I want to, I hope, we can change the colour. So let's just go back on that one. In colour, now look at this. We have got all of these different selections. Pacific, Nautical, Mariner, Merchant, Pristine, Azure. Let's just go through. So Pacific is the standard one. Then we have Nautical, which is, what, what's that changing? Let's just go to a different camera view so we can really see. Okay, let's go for this one. Then we have Mariner. That's sort of changing it down as well. And that's sort of getting rid of some of the colours as well. Not really liking that one. It's sort of like a blue awning that I can see in there and a blue stripe. That one's got a, a red helipad. And they're all sort of light coloured boats. So I want to go for a dark coloured boat. 
Let's just go for it. Okay, now we're starting to see some differences here. We've got a nice blue bottom and a white top. Then we have, I guess that was uniform. Then we have ruby, which is that one with a red on the bottom. I think we might have to change this to daytime in a minute just so we can see again. Uh, Mediterranean. I want to try and go for a dark. A dark one. Then we have vintage. That's Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's got, that's got some good mixes of blue and white. Then we have this one, which has got a white helipad and some smaller blue stripes. Battle... Now, now we're talking. Look at this. Command. Oh, yes. This is it. Classico. Yeah, that's sort of... I'm uh, not really sure on that one. Intrepid or intraped. Oh, that's like black and red. Is that black or blue? I can't really see. It's so dark now. And Voyager. Oh, that's just gold and blue. Look at that. I think we might go for Voyager, actually. Okay, then we go to country. Now, if we just go to change our camera view, let's just go to the thing. There is a marking on the back. There's yacht name, and there's the country. So, if we go back there, go to country, and now we can select United Kingdom. And why is the boat, why is the, it looks like the boat's sinking, you know? What the f is happening with that? Okay, so now we've got UK. We can have Poland, Slovenia. We've got loads of other ones. South Africa, South Korea. Let's go for South Korea. Let's just try and change it up. I want to see if we can input South Korean characters just as a quick test. Where's the... Oh, it's giving us a South Korean flag. Oh, nice. Okay. So that one has... That one actually has yacht name in Australia. Oh, there it is. Yacht name, South Korea, and the South Korean flag. That is amazing detail. And then we can change the name to... Can we... Uh, oh, I can see the thing coming up in the top right, but I don't think that's going to... Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, we can't input Korean. What should we name this boat then? The, uh, ooh, trying to think of a good name. This is, this is the one thing I'm not good at, is names. Names of things. Do you know how many months it took me to think up of the name Figure 8? Seriously? Months? So, I think maybe, let's just go for a really basic name. Oceans Gold. Oceans Gold. Like that. There we go. Oceans Gold, South Korea. We can change the country again. We can go for China. It's going to have a Chinese. Look at that. It's got all the flags. That's amazing. Then we can go to chopper one. Oh wait, hold, hold the phone. We can add all different things and all the different. Hang on, we need to make this daytime because this is way too dark right now. Okay, we're back in daytime, and I guess we should now start looking at the colors again because now we can really see what the different colors are. Oh, that's better. I like that one. Oh, it also changes all the color of the woods as well. Classico. Hmm, these dark ones are pretty fancy. I quite like uh, Intraped. I think that was the one that we looked at. Battleship. Continental. I think these ones are going to go to the white now. I think we should go for the Intraped instead of the Voyager. Yeah, that is, that's a really nice look. I like that one. So, we go, that's got like a red and a gold and a blue and it's got some light wood. I think that's nice. So, Chopper 1, we can go for a Maverick. Where are we going to be looking here? Oh, that's that one at the top. Can we change camera to this thing so we can see close up on this one? No, we cannot. I guess we'll just have to cope with... Uh, that view there. Okay, so we can go for a Maverick, a Frogger, a Swift. What's a Swift? That's that one. A Swift Deluxe. So we can get like the most fanciest ones. The Super Valito Carbon. Ooh, the Buzzard. These are just, oh nice. Valkyrie. And the Savage. Oh my god, look at the size of that. I think if we, we go for, on the front one, we're going to go for a big one. But I think with this one, we might go for the Swift Deluxe. As that's a nice size. Or the Super Valito Carbon. I think the Super Valito Carbon, I think that is a nice one. So we're going to go for that one on Chopper 1. On Chopper 2, I think we'll go for the Savage on the front end. Look at that. Oh, in fact, that's, that's actually, that's a bit too much. Because that is actually an army helicopter. That looks a bit wrong. But that one, oh, that's army as well. Buzzard. Maybe we'll just go for two Super Valito Carbons. Or maybe we'll go for a Swift Deluxe on the front. Yeah, let's go for Swift Deluxe on the front. They even matches with the red. I don't know if that's... Does that happen if we change the colour? Or is that just... It happens to be that colour. Let's see. Wow! It actually changes the colour! Okay, now that is cool. That is really cool. So we can go to any one of these. And it's going to change the colour to match the ship. That is nice. So what is Voyager? What has, how does that one look? That's pretty nice. I don't like the dark wood. If that, if that had a lighter wood, I'd probably go for that one. But Intraped? Yeah, man. That's awesome. Okay, so we also have boats on the... S where, where, let's just see where these added. Where is that added? Let's go to change camera and see if we can spot this boat here. Where is... Oh, it's at the back. I see. Right at the back there. So we can have nothing. Or we can have the Tropic. The Sun Trap. The Dinghy. 
the Squallo, the Jet Max, oh my god, the Speeder, the Marquee, oh my god, we're going to have a proper sailing boat, or the Toro. Oh, that is amazing. Should we go for the Toro on that one, and then boat two, let's just go out of here, boat two, we can change to a Squallo, or a Jet Max maybe? Squallows are pretty nice. I want to see, is this also going to change the colours of that as well? Let's go, colour. Whoa, what's happening here? We've got a bit of lag. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. I think we just got rid of our name there. God damn it. Let's just go to Vintage. Oh my god, it changes the colour of those boats as well. Oh, that is amazing. But let's just go with the Intraped for now. Oh my god, that is just so cool. And then we also have four different sea sharks? What is this? Uh, oh, look, it adds... Oh, they're little jet skis, of course. So we can add another one there, and another one there. Look at the price this is going up. This is insane. So we can have four different jet skis, and then we've also got two different uh, boats that also matches all the color of the boat as well. This is definitely the best one. Out of all the yacht mods I've seen, this is definitely the best. And there is our final yacht. Let's just look round. Look at that. That is insane. And of course, we now need to change our name because all the name... Oceans Gold. In fact, is this really Oceans Gold anymore? How should we, this is the uh Azure. Is there? No, that's not the right one. What is this? It's the Intraped. We'll go for the name, because that's a, a nice way to mix it up. The Intraped. How the why am I not typing right? Intraped? Intraped? Intra how the f Okay, it was Intraped. Okay, that my spelling is awful. <laughs> it's starting Oh no, everyone knows about my poor spelling. Intraped. Interpid? That's not it. Intrepid. Whew! We're finally there. The Intrepid... Uh... Ooh. Intrepid. Intrepid... Something, something. Oh, sorry. Let's just call it Sea Mansion. <laughs> there we go. There's Sea Mansion. And it's not even... There's a bit of a bug there. It's not really showing up sometimes on the back there. Let's just go over to uh, United Kingdom again. So we can have this nicer matching up. There we go. United Kingdom. It's got the nicer Union Jack on there. And the name to the unions, Jack. There we go. Nice. That's all done. Whoa. I did not mean to back all the way out of that one. Did that not? If that reset, I'm going to cry. It reset. No, you fucking moron. Oh, man. We were getting so close to buying that yacht. Okay, let me just quickly spec this all back up again. And there we are. It's all back. And I've also given it a very special name. Boaty. <laughs> Boatface. Which is the best name. For a boat ever. So now we can buy a yacht for 18 million. Actually, 19 million 800. Oh, 90 million 583 thousand dollars. And we're now in. Look at this. Doc Tees. Is that what it's called? Doc Tees? <laughs> what a name. That's amazing. There we go. Right down here. We have all of our boats that we can just drive away at will. I guess it would save it. Or if you start driving it, would it just sort of not save? I don't know how that would work. But there he is. Look. Boaty McBoatface from the UK that's actually got a bit of bit of a water problem. Would that is that is that normal? Would that be normal at su such a low level for the water to sort of come up here? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. But if we go up here, I guess we can go inside as well. So let's just go through here. Let's just see what is in this little bit here. So this takes us to the inside. This is great. Is this colour any different? I don't know if this colour is any different to what it was before, but up here. This is where we have a nice little... Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, man. And then we've got our lovely chopper on the outside here. I think this interior is different. I think the colour has changed. And that gold looks more yellow than gold, actually. I'm not too sure on that. It's a bit too fancy, I think. Wow. So there's our bar up here. Imagine. Just imagine if you were rich enough to own this. You could pretty much live on the water. This is... This is better than any house I've ever been in in my entire life. And this is a boat. I would love to live somewhere like this. This would be absolutely amazing. Imagine I could just like run on YouTube through here. Oh man, I don't think YouTube money would ever get anywhere close to giving you this. Unless you used your YouTube money um, to, I don't know, invest in some other stuff. There was no way a YouTuber, even PewDiePie, would not be able to afford one of these. Because these must cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds and hundreds of millions. This is insane. Oh, oh, okay. Should I do that? Okay, well, that's a thing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, round here we've got all our nice. We've got loads of smoke coming out, and let's get rid of that. Really nice. Look at this. We could have. We could run YouTube in this office here. That would be amazing. And then we walk through here to our big bedroom and our ensuite. Oh, look at that. What a lovely place this would be to live in. Round here. Is this is this one level of we already? Oh, this is. Oh, hello. Oh, that's what that sound was. That was fire. Okay, we just we just walk through that. No big deal. <laughs> And into here, and I guess this is another bathroom in here. Oh, man. Whoa, this is a huge... Okay, now this is my bathroom. Look at this. Even got a massive bath. Oh, that, that's, a, that's close to swimming pool level. As well as the fact that we've got the jacuzzi outside. Oh, this is amazing. It's, it's on fire. We'll ignore the fire. The fire's perfectly fine. I'm sure it will... Uh, hang on, have we got, have we got a... Uh, oh, God. Where, where would we find a extinguisher? Would I have one of those? Maybe I don't. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can just sort of help it. Oh, fire extinguisher was there. It's just not showing. There we go. Okay. Well, we put out our fire then. <laughs> don't know why they didn't show in the menu. This is terrible. This is the worst fire extinguisher I've ever seen. It's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. It is finally putting it out. There we go. Has that gone into the bathroom as well? This is going to here. No. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I can still hear fire somewhere, though. I think it's upstairs. I think we have a fire upstairs. But I think that concludes the, the that concludes customizing the yacht. And that concludes a little tour of the yacht. I'm pretty sure the colors have changed on the interior. That is absolutely amazing. So there we go, guys. That is it. Custom yachts, proper ones in single-player GTA 5. This is no online. This is all just single-player. This fire extinguisher is awful. I would love to know in the comment section below how close is this to what you can do in online because I always knew that there was supposed to be more customization and that last mod that we checked out was just awful and it just did not have the amount of stuff that I wanted but this is great this is absolutely great let's just go back outside just so we can walk around the front of this thing there we go so there is our jacuzzi right here oh look at that that is beautiful that's a really weird pattern actually that's nice it's a shame it's not really sort of full of other people I think maybe people in map editor could actually add in people and all that sort of stuff. So we've got up here. We can't really do anything else. Just sitting out here. Ah, oh, just looking at the beach with the sun. How beautiful would that be to have that in real life? What's up here? What's this in here? Is this just an indoor bit? Oh, there's a thing here. What's this then? Oh, okay. This is how you drive it. Okay, so maybe from here we can now change where this lives. I think that's what we can do from here. Let's have a look. We go to here and what happens? Nothing happens. Hmm, okay, maybe that's a bit of a bug. Yeah, okay, so this bit's not working, but I think you are supposed to be able to move this boat around, but I think there's a little bit of a bug. Maybe something else I've got is sort of interfering. But look at that. Absolutely amazing. Let's just go back outside here if we can. Oh, it's really sort of buggy, actually, these things. So there he is. Let's go around the outside, and let's just take our chopper and fly away so we can see this thing from the air. Let's go around here. Jump down. Can we jump from here? There's a... Oh, okay, it's a bit... Oh, dear. That's a bit buggy. That's not what I was expecting. Also, why is this boat green? Did we spray this green? What the hell? I get... Oh, I see. It's a reflection of the water. Okay. Right. Let's just take this one as I can't seem to get around to the front. Here we go. Nice carbon super valito. And there we go. Let's go to first person mode. Here we go. Oh. And... Oh. Try not to crash. Look at that. This is ours. This is our new... Fancy boat. That is absolutely amazing. Just imagine owning one of these in real life. How crazy must your life be to own something this magnificent? Whoa, try not to crash into the sea. Whoa, in fact, let's just go to this other view so we can see what we're doing. Look at that. That's absolutely amazing. So now that will always be there so we can fly away and come back to it at will whenever we want. There is our yacht. And that is it for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by rating, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.